Carl here. Today, we're going to be going to the next step in SQL, Intermediate SQL. So if you haven't seen the basic SQL tutorial, I'm going to put a card up here right now so you guys can go check that out before you jump into the Intermediate. So this will be dedicated towards learning how to use joins. If you struggled with how to use joins in the past or you're learning how to do SQL and joins are just not your friend, this is the tutorial for you. I'm going to dive into what the joins are and then we're going to look at two different tables to utilize the different types of joins. So let's dive right into it. First things first, there are different types of joins in SQL. As you can see here on the screen, I have all the different types of joins and as well as the uh, visual matrix that you guys can check out. From the top, there are, there's an inner join, left outer join, right outer join, full outer join. For your inner joins, you're going to return records that have matching values in both tables. For your left outer join, it's going to be all the records from the left table and match records from the right table. For your right outer join, you're going to return all the records from the right table and the match records from the left table. And then for your full outer join, you're going to return all records when there is a match in either the left or the right tables. And if you can look at this matrix here, you see table one, table two, table one, table two, so on and so forth. So there's always a table one and there's always a table two. All right. So let's go ahead and dive right into some SQL. Now, the two tables we're going to be focusing on is the employee salary as well as the employee table. Let's go ahead and get rid of my video so you guys can focus on the screen. All right. So let's go ahead and start building out our query. So we're going to say select. We want the employee table because we want the first name and the last name. So we're going to say dot first name. Don't forget your comma. We're going to say employee table dot last name because we want the last name as well. And then we want to make sure that we have the employee's salary. And don't forget to put dot salary. Next, we want to say from and we can say right here, employee table. Then here's where your join comes in, right? So on your joins, remember, you're going to be combining table one with table two, so on and so forth. So for this particular one, we're going to do either, uh, we're going to do an inner join, right? So it returns records that have matching values in both tables, okay? Simple as one. So we're just going to say enter join. So you see, we already have employee table. What table we're going to be joining is, excuse me, we're going to be joining the employee salary table, right? Um, from there, we're going to say on. Now we're going to start building this out. So what we're going to be building this on, let me just back step right quick. What we're going to be building on is now we have to make sure that as you see right here, this means that both of the table one and table two have to have something that's the same, right? That's, that's how I value this. So if we go to our queries, we see that this table has employee ID. This table has employee ID. So we know that when we're building out this on statement, we can go ahead and say on employee table dot employee ID equals employee salary dot employee ID. And when we run this execute, we see Carl Huff. We see how much Carl Huff makes. Then we see how much Steve Austin makes. Oh, excuse me. <laughs> and so on and so forth. So now by doing this inner join, we have successfully 
join two tables to show you how much each employee makes. So now let's just take a quick second to review. So as I stated, and there's different types of SQL joins. The inner join and the left join is pretty much the same thing where your your unless your data starts getting very obscured and, and the tables are, are very large. Now your writer, your your right outer join returns off <laughs> returns all records from the right table and the match records from the left table. Something that you're really, really, really going to use. And your full outer join returns all records when there's a match in either the left or the right tables is, is another one that you'll really, really use unless you're truly scrubbing data. The ones, the most common used ones are your inner joins and your left joins. And this is basically how you use those, you're making sure that in your select statement, you have both tables that are going to be joined. And then you're going to do your from statement from either table one or table two. And then when you join your inner join, you're going to make sure you bring it in your join, your inner join, your left join, your right join, your outer join. You bring it in that second table. And then when you go to your on statement, you're going to make sure that you're matching, as I had here, you're finding something in both of those tables that match in order to join both of those tables. And that explains the joins. Now that we got that squared away, let's go into a little extra credit, a little bonus rounds. So one thing I like to see when I do this, and let's just build a table out bigger. So this time we're going to get the employee's first name, the employee's age, their gender, as well as their job title and their salary, right? We're also going to concat the first name as well as the last name. Now the concat function adds two or more strings together. And the way we're going to diagnose this is we're going to still be using uh, the tables. We're going to be using the employee table uh, as a reference. And then in the end, we're going to tie everything together. We're going to, we're going to tie the concat and the joins and everything together. So now let's go ahead and dive into the concat function. And like, as I just stated, the concat function adds two or more strings together. So for an example, if you want to have first name and last name as one column, this is a time that you would use your concat functions. And we're going to go ahead and talk through how we're going to do that. So just to start, we're just going to use the employee table. So we're going to say select employee and we're going to be using the first name and last name excuse me I got a hiccup today so we're just gonna use first name and last name from the employee table All right so if we run this we see that we have the first name and the last name. Now to do this and join both those as one column, what we can do is we say select, this time we're gonna say concat, let's spell it right. And then we're gonna go ahead and do the expression. So what I can do is just go ahead and grab these. So employee table dot first name. Now in doing a concat, so if we just go here and say first name and then last name, and then do this. This is what we're going to get. We're going to get all the names bunched up together. Now, this this may work in some cases, but in most cases, this, this is not a good look. Another thing we want to do is see how this says no column name. As you watch the, the first tutorial, we learned how to add a column name. So we'll just name this. We'll just name it names. 
and we'll run this again and we have both of these um, windows populating so execute and you'll see now that column has names now to to add some space in between these first names and last name what we want to do here is add another select statement but we want to add a blank space statement so to do that you're just going to go here space there comma and then execute it now you see all the names have uh, a space in between them all right so that's how you get your first name and last name in one column using concat now in the case where we can use concat and we don't have to worry about this space is an example we can use is the salary table so let's do this select concat let's say employee salary dot salary just so we can see what's there let's go ahead and take off the concat for right now because I just want you guys to get the idea of what's what what we're gonna do so if we look at the salary and we can go ahead and say as I want to capitalize that s so we we'll call it salary with a capital S so as we see we have salary and we have the dollar amounts but we wanted to show the dollar sign how do we do that we do the same thing we did here we're going to type in concat now we can do our dollar sign don't forget the comma and then don't forget to close parentheses at the end and now execute and we can see that now we have our salary with the dollar signs as well so at this point now you can join tables you can concat by adding first name and last name to a column or just a random text and data to a column so now how do we tie all this together let's go back here where we did our joins so like i said in the beginning we want to tie our employee table together with our employee salary together now how do we do that using our joins and everything so let's just start from here so what we're going to do to tie all those tables together we're just going to keep it super super simple right so we're going to say select all because we're tying all our tables together and then we're going to just say from say employee table and then let's just do a so let's do an inner join we're going to join the employee salary table we're going to say on and the way you build this out is you always pick the table one first and then you pick the matching column remember as we discussed so both tables have employee IDs then we're going to say equals then we're going to say employee salary and we're going to add the employee id and then we're going to run this so now you see we have joined all the tables together so we have employee id first name last name age gender employee id <laughs> job title and salary so now that we know what each employee age and gender is as well as their title and their salary so with that being said we're gonna go ahead and wrap it up right here hope you guys enjoyed that tutorial if you have any questions or you want me to go deeper on one of these topics please feel free to leave a comment down in the comment section if you have something that's very challenging to you feel free to leave a comment and we can work on it together i might just do a tutorial helping you work through your problem what I would do for you is if you leave a comment saying what you're having problems with, leave enough details and information so that I can dissect it. I will specifically do a tutorial just for you to help you solve your solution because I'm pretty sure if you may be having problems with it, other people may be having problems with it. So I want to be dedicated to my viewers to continue to help you learn on the go as you grow. This is Carl Huff.
And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.